What's up people, it's me Red, AG Lover, 1, 2, 3, 4, forever, with a video today, here, now. So today I think is day 5 of anniversary celebrations out of 11. Is it 11? Yeah, it's out of 11. And today I am doing 10 facts you probably didn't know about me. So just a disclaimer before I start this, this video will not include the following. My name, where I live, what school I go to, or anything personal. So I can't include those, but this is going to be hobbies, interesting facts about AG to do with myself, any habits that I have, that kind of thing. So I can't give away too many personal things. So let's do this. Okay, number one. So, I play netball. Yes, I do. I play netball. Um, I play it in PE at school quite a lot. And this week I have a tournament at school. So, like a house tournament thing. So, so far we're winning. So, which is really good. And I do play netball, believe it or not. I can even tell you what this shirt means. Because it's GA, that's goal attack. So normally I'm goal shooter or goal defence. So um, I do like to play netball. It's my favourite sport and I love doing it. <laughs> Many people are surprised when I tell them that. Okay, so this one is like a couple in one. So run number two now. So for this one, I am going to tell you something that most people are surprised at. I am in secondary school. Most people for some reason think I'm in primary school. But then other people when they actually see me, they think I'm in secondary school. But from my voice people think I'm in primary school. I am in secondary school people. I am in high school. I am in year 7 at the moment. So I have only just started but I am in secondary school. Most people get really confused about this but I am. Um, and there's an interesting fact about school, let's just stay on the school related topic for a minute. I, I'm a tiny bit like, <laughs> this one's um, actually really weird. I like tech, I like technology, I like building things, okay. So that is my favourite lesson, I won them. So Muz one's English, so that was fact number two, part of three, but I haven't done three yet, so that was that. Fact number three. So fact number three, the job that I would like to be when I'm older is a teacher. Now I wouldn't want to be a secondary school teacher or like a, I would like to be like a teacher for little kids. Now if you knew me, you would understand why. I mean, most of my friends say this at school. They'll say, oh, you should be a teacher. And I've always wanted to be a teacher for as long as I can remember. I mean, most little girls when they're little, they would like to be a ballerina or, or a dancer or something like that. Uh, but I'm not that kind of person. Um, I've always wanted to um, be a teacher. I've always wanted to be one. And I feel like one day I will hopefully be able to be one. So let's go on to the next. Okay, the next one. As you can see, this is a gymnast. Now, one, <laughs> some people get really creeped out when they tell them this. So I can't believe I'm actually going to tell I don't even tell most of my friends I do this. But I can with no pain and with a complete straight back I can put my legs all the way behind my head so they touch the ground okay and my back will be completely straight and my legs will just go back like that and because I can do this uh, if I could show my face I would show you that I can do this but sadly I can't show my face so um, I would show you but I can't so I can do that and um, because I could do that, like I was going to say, um, I could do that and I can also do a, a neck stand, which is not a headstand but a neck stand. I can put my feet all the way up standing on my neck and they'll be completely straight my hand will my hands will be lying flat out on the floor it's actually really creepy when people see it they're like Ugh. i actually find it really amusing to show people and when my parents or friends ask can we see you do your leg thingy i'm not ashamed to because i find it really great to do so let's go to the next fact 
So next intro- interesting fact about me is that my birthday is the 3rd of June 2004 and for that reason I am a Gemini so as you may have guessed I do have a brother who's older than me, he's about, he's older than me, let's just stick to that. So that is an interesting fact about me. Okay, the next interesting fact about moi, the most interesting, no, it's not the most interesting. Okay, let's just get into this, I'm rambling too much. The next interesting fact, this is going to be two in one, so my favourite colour is red. I love red, that is why my name, not on the internet, no, on the internet, not in real life, on the internet is red because it means a lot to me and it's my favourite colour. I also love roses they're my favorite flower because they're a passion of love they're beautiful they're elegant and they're just amazing righty ozy so the next one is i am fluent in french yes i am your girl is fluent in french i know everything in french so i am going to say to you the french alphabet this is just a proof where i am at a, B, C, D, U, F, G, H, E, G, K, L, O, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, V, X, X, Z. Now I can do it even quicker. A, B, C, D, U, F, G, H, E, G, K, L, O, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, V, X, X, Z. Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Red. Je suis douce. So I'm 11 years old. I am fluent, of course. So that's a fact. I bet you didn't know about me, unless you've watched Friday Night. So coming in with fact number eight about moi. So um, my favourite culture is Japanese slash Chinese. Um, I studied like um, Japanese and Chinese um, a bit at school, but I studied it mostly at home. It's always fascinated me. I love the fashion. I love the food. I love the ancient history. Like literally everything. I know most things uh, about it. Really, I, I, I just love it. It's one of my favourite cultures, and I've always wanted to go to Japan or China. But the furthest I've ever got to that is going to Chinatown. So, <laughs> yeah. So the next fact, my lovely, lovely, lovely people, is I wrote it's a fifties thing. Yes, I did. I wrote it as a book. It's about fifty-one pages long, I think. And I wrote it all on my own with actual characters and stuff. But this is just another one of my things that I wanted to make into reality. And the fact that people watch it, it's just like, it's like so little TV series. It's so awesome. And I wrote it, the characters, a fun fact about this 50s thing, the original character was meant to be called, instead of Daniel, his name was meant to be called Eddie, but because of family relations being called Eddie, I didn't want to use it because it was a tiny bit awkward, so I changed the name to Daniel. So I really hope that you enjoy its 50s thing, I sure enjoy making it, so I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So watch out for that coming out, not this weekend, this weekend, so next one. And finally, number 10. So, for number 10, as you can guess, these are glasses. Therefore, I wear glasses. That's all you're getting about my identity. Okay, glasses is a big enough hint why it's not, because nobody knows what my face looks like. But I wear glasses. This is an distinguishing feature. Now, these aren't like glasses to make me look cool or whatever, or nerdy or geeky. I wear glasses because when I was born I had an eye problem, um, it hasn't been life threatening, when I was 6 years old I had to have an operation, but um, I wear glasses and uh, my eyes are getting better now, they are because I had the operation, I might have to go for another one soon depending, but um, yeah, please don't think any less of me because of my glasses, apparently glasses suit me, so if you know me in real life which I think one or two of you do know me in real life, you will know that glasses suit me. So let's wrap up this video.
And there we have it, people. That was 10 interesting facts about me. You might not have found them interesting, you might have. I hope you learnt more about me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to, I can do these for my dolls as well. I wouldn't mind. I could do, like, an AGSM about it or something. So, I would be more than grateful to and i just wanted to say thank you so much for nearly 200 subscribers i mean i know we're on 178 but i'm just saying it in advance because you know me i even forgot when my one year anniversary was so i'm just saying in case i forget it which you guys know i will because i love you so i trust you that you will remind me so um again thank you so much i love you all and i will see you in tomorrow's anniversary video goodbye for now people goodbye everyone bye and red out